What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are here at Lake Julian Disco, of course, for another disc review. This one is really fun, something I've been waiting for a couple of months to do, actually. And that is the Clash Discs Spice, and not just the spice, this is in the Steady Ring plastic. Basically, their version of Halo. It's super cool. There's so many textures. I mean, look at the bottom. That's just... That's amazing. And I'm definitely gonna keep this disc around whether or not I enjoy playing with it today because I have some ideas for some Christmas challenges that we're gonna do with some red, green, white, you know, cool Christmas discs in comparison to this disc. So this is a 10404. In comparison, I have a couple other discs that might fit about the same slot. We have the PD, which is 10403. So supposed to be a little bit less stable. This is in their C line though, so it is a little more overstable than if you just a stock run S line. Then we have the Captain's Raptor. This is what I bag in this slot. It's not really a distance driver. It's more of a overstable fairway control style driver. 9314, it's not really that overstable. And the Firebird, this is a Nate Sexton Color Glow Champion Halo. I think I got all the words right. Yeah, uh, 9304. So two, three of these have a four fade, one of these has a three fade, but with this steady plastic, I don't know how extremely overstable it can actually get. We're gonna test it out today. We're gonna start from the middle pad on hole 12 and just throw a flex forehand out there and see how they start to stable out. Gonna go with, uh, let's go with straight, straighter to more over stable and then we'll throw the spice in comparison to these three. So PD is up first. Ooh, that went way into the woods. Mm. I don't know if that one's well. We'll see. We'll have to see how the spice flies. Firebird. Yeah, kind of what you expect as the traditional overstable. It's just everybody at some point in time, unless they've been sponsored when they first started applying, they've probably thrown a Firebird once or twice at least. Now the Captain's Raptor. About the same as the Firebird. And yes, I know I could bag a, a Firebird because I'm not sponsored, but I like the little tooling on the cap wrap. So when I really need to crank on a disc, I make sure I have a, a little bit extra grip. But this steady plastic feels so grippy and so tacky. I might switch to this if it flies anywhere similar to those. So the PD is the outlier, kind of like I expected it to be, and the spice is actually more stable than I was anticipating. It's going to fly very similar, I think, to the other two. So maybe we won't throw the PD anymore. Maybe we will. Let's go throw it on some more shots. Well, there's the spice, and there's the firebird, and here's the cap wrap. Um, hot take. After today, I may not have a nine speed in my bag anymore. I might just be PDs and Spice. Am I gonna completely remove disc craft from my bag? That remains to be seen. We have a couple more shots that I wanna try it on, but oh boy, this might be get interesting. So now that I realize that the 04 is fairly accurate, um, we're gonna leave the PD on the bench for now. Gonna go cap wrap, Spice, Firebird. We're gonna go flex four hand again, but this time instead of trying to get around a corner, we're just trying to push straight. And we don't want to go left because there's a lake down there. So flex forehand, fade into the hill. Hopefully you don't roll. Maybe even get a good skip. That's about 300. Maybe a little shorter. Oh no, 
was rolling. I mean, where it landed was past the cap wrap, but where it rolled to is shorter than the cap wrap. So that's just unfortunate ground play. And then it's weird, even though this is in their Champion and Halo plastic and Glow plastic, I feel like it's a little bit straighter and glidier than the other two. It's still very overstable, and it's not necessarily all that domey. It just feels like it pushes a little further straight on its line before it fades. Yeah, so that's stuck where the spice hit the ground, so we'll get to see kind of a distance marker. Yeah, I mean, the spice is flying very similar to not just a firebird, but a sexton firebird, which are a little bit straighter firebirds, but still overstable. So if you're looking for a disc that goes a little bit further than your super beef firebird or your raptor, or not straighter, but a little bit further. The Spice might be the right disc for you because it is a 10 speed. Because of the 10 speed rim, it's going to cut through the air just a tiny bit faster. Not, not a whole lot, but enough to notice the, the distance comparison. So the Captain's Raptor is in this grass. Here's where the Spice rolled to, but it hit about where the Firebird is right there. So a little bit further. So the spice, I'm actually really considering taking the cap wrap out of my bag and putting in a spice. It's giving me the same flight as a captain's raptor, but because it is a faster speed rim, it's just going further. And I'm fine taking it out, taking the cap wrap out and putting in a disc that goes a touch further because if I need a little bit extra over stability, a little bit slower. I have a pretty new Eagle that is kind of almost Firebird stability. It's pretty beefy. So I can do some flex forehands with the brand new Eagle, anything slower than that. I have some Pyros and a Mutant that kind of also fill that slot. And I don't really, right now in my lineup, I don't really have a super overstable distance driver. So having your control driver be a little bit faster might be a good might be a good thing for me to, to move to. For this hole, we're gonna go more straight to hyzer or flag to hyzer and a little bit less on the extreme turns because I do need a disc that's going to push a little bit straight and then dump really hard. And though, so that's kind of what these do. Spice is up first though. Oh, and that 10-speed rim skip? That's good. Very similar flight, but the spice pushed further straighter. Now cap wrap. So the ESP cap wrap that I have, I've used it for about a season, maybe a season and a half. And it is flying about like a firebird. It's not as beefy over stable as it used to be. So it's like that perfect amount. It's like a firebird if a firebird had grip on the inside of the rim. But I really like that spice. Same flight same strength of throw it just pushed further which is really good when you're looking for overstable distance so it might fit a slot in between my pd and my time lapse or my pd and my enigma i'm really liking that spice it it hmm. I am going to throw it twice on backhand, so we'll get to see how it flexes, but very good probability that it makes my back. So back to the top of the three, Firebird's going to go first. We're going to go backhand flex because there's no way I get anywhere close to the basket with a hyzer with these, but this is something that I can rely on into a headwind. I can trust it on Anheuser to give me the flex that I'm looking for. 
but still be reliably overstable that the headwind's not just gonna make it burn over. And if I throw a PD hard enough on my Anheuser, it may not come back. But these definitely have the possibility to. I don't know why I threw that out so high. Probably misreleased, but you see, it turned a little bit, faded out, but that height definitely helped it stable out and just come crashing back to the earth. But I think on a backhand, this fly is very, a lot more overstable than on a forehand. I don't know why, something about my backhand, or, or maybe it's something about my forehand, I'm not sure. See what I mean? That's really hard for me to get it over. I don't know why. Spike time. I actually came down through that one a little bit more. So it was a lot more line drive. Did you see how much that thing panned? Oh my goodness. But then it still faded and skipped. That's amazing. I am really, really liking that spice. As of today, Clash Discs has officially kicked both the Discraft molds I thought about bagging out of my bag. Captain's Raptor, you're out for now. I know where you live. I know I can come back to you if I need you, but for now it's gonna be the spice. I'm gonna throw all of them on backhand again. Um, let's go ahead and do Firebird and Cap Wrap first once more, and then we'll go spice. good rip. Let's see if I can keep the cap wrap a little bit lower again this time. Oh, and the skip. And now, I said it was out of it from the first throw, but we're bringing it back. Gonna show you the difference between stable and overstable. Granted, this is an overstable PD, but it's not as overstable as the spice. Now, welcome to my bag, the new Steady Ring Spice. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, they are killing it with the stamps. Their stamp design's amazing. Spice. I am so excited to get out and throw some spicy lines. And yes, I really, really enjoy wordplay, especially when it comes to disc golf. Do you see how much more I came over on that disc? That thing is a beef, beef cake, but it's a spicy beef cake. Well, I'm pleasantly surprised and pleasantly happy with the way this video turned out. Cap Wrap is a great disc. Firebird is an amazing mold. But to fill a, a gap or a slot in my, in my tournament ready bag, I think I'm gonna go with the spice. If you enjoy content like this, make sure to like the video. If you wanna see something new, please make sure to comment that down below and please make sure to subscribe. Definitely helps you out with the subscriber only giveaways and it helps me as well. Until next time, see you out on the course.